as you can see that I've uh, recovered a lot of my energy which is really good I uh, highly recommend broccoli sprouts with mustard dried mustard powder it's cure-all and anyway I got I got re-energized I feel I feel alive damn it it was I saw the Sun today for the first time in eight years and it was really nice and it was warm and it felt good and I was outside and and, and all was right with the world when I just closed my mind off to what really is going on with the world so let me get this straight the missiles go and destroy Assad's Air Force so that they can't hit ISIS targets, but America wants ISIS. ISIS is the enemy. No, wait a minute. Is ISIS the enemy? We don't even know who the fuck the enemy is anymore. There's so many different sides. All we know is we've got to keep lobbing those million dollar missiles because it's got to keep the factories humming, don't you know? And of course, everybody's outraged by bloody tyranny, by gas attacks, if that's what happened and we don't even know who the hell launched the damn thing or where it came from Assad of course would have no reason to gas people at this point since he was finally winning the civil war and now what's going on it's another big quagmire folks just another country another another quagmire it's endless and you get involved in these different warring factions and this where's it gonna end how's it gonna end you gonna bomb these countries into democracy? What does America know about democracy? They had one briefly, but it's long gone. On Tuesday, Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad launched a horrible chemical weapons attack on innocent civilians. No child of God should ever suffer such horror. Tonight I ordered a targeted military strike on the airfield in Syria from where the chemical attack was launched. So what are we to believe about the chemical attack? Was it real or was it Memorex? I can't tell. Nobody can tell anymore because there's so much lying going on in the media every type of media there's so much disinformation and propaganda that anybody looking for the truth is going to go half fucking nuts and now we have cooperation with with everybody the deep state it's all it's all the same shit it's going to be war no matter what right war that's the answer you know i was kind of feeling down and washed up and thinking i just turned 60 a month ago and i'm freaking out over it and and, uh, you know, I, I feel better now. I, you come to accept it. Yeah, okay, I'm an old guy. But I, I went down to a store and I saw the perfect shirt for me that I bought because I thought, this makes me feel better. So here it is. It's a license plate. It's from Canada. And it's yours to discover. So there you go. I feel much better about being 60 now, having a T-shirt to... Uh, to mock me so you know I'm not one for propaganda but what is propaganda and what is reality you can watch RT and a certain percentage of that is propaganda a lot of it's propaganda but you get the opposite side of the story from what you're getting on mainstream American news right now which is go Trump go isn't he presidential the more uh, million dollar bombs he lobs over there the richer all his friends get and they laugh and laugh and laugh all their way through look we pulled it over on them again weapons of mass destruction that's a reason to go to war let's bomb the shit out of somebody that's what we're really good at and that's what we enjoy Blow up again. Blow up real real yeah. pity the poor unfortunate Trumpkins pity them. I mean, it's very sad when you think about it, that he, uh, the dawn has gone from lock her up to Hillary going, blow him up. And Don going, sure, Hill, blow, blow, blow him up just like you wanted to. But we have to pretend that we're on different sides of this whole thing. Have you ever seen such a weird play going on and and how stupid how stupid everybody is 
it's patriotic and presidential to set off some nice fireworks. Calling me crazy, but imagine if one tenth of, of weapons spending went into developing and equipping people with solar panels. Just suggesting, but you know, as long as there's lots of that clean coal in the ground, that polished turd that the polished turd has sold you on. Yeah. Fuck the environment anyway, who cares? So I maintain that there's this enormous con job that has been put over on everybody. And if we watched the election and followed closely and watched the games that played out and how both parties end up in the same fucking place. War. Yeah, let's go. War. It solves everything. Unemployment. World hunger. Global warming. Fukushima. Don't worry about it. Let's build more nukes. So if we, I mean, you know, go big or go home, right? Where have I seen and heard this before? You can't get to my age and not see history repeating itself. Another great con being perpetrated in order to just strip people of their liberties and strip people of their rights and create a panic state. Here we go again, just like, just like in the early 2000s. That was just a test run for totalitarianism. All these YouTube creators whining about the YouTube apocalypse. And what did you expect? It's, some of us have been saying this is coming for years now. And I think the advantage I have is I never expected to make any money off YouTube, so I don't have anything to be disappointed about. I mean, it was something really big channel, like uh, got a dollar, you know, in revenue for some ridiculously huge amount of views, so, yeah. You know why I'm still on YouTube? Because I'm a stubborn son of a bitch. I try and keep this channel a happy place, a place where people can feel acceptance and people of the same ideological bent perhaps, bent being the operative word, but I have fun with it and uh, I've met many nice people. And so I'm not trying to attract any negativity or tr I'm not into arguing with people. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the time quite frankly or the inclination. At this point in my life, I'm more interested in um, people that remain positive through dark times, that maintain a sense of irony, of the sense of humor about the dark times that this world is facing. And I remain staunchly anti-militarist. It's amazing that human beings have all this wonderful life-saving technology. And it's a double-edged sword like everything else. So if you want to get a chip put in your hand so you can be tracked everywhere you go like a zoo animal, well, then maybe that's just because you're intellectually superior to me. So now I'm going to think of all the positive things that I have in, in my life, like the good people out there that are true friends. People like Ella, who I've known for years on here. Uh, Deanne, who's always kind and nice. Many, many others. And there's Joey Bag of Donuts, who has the best name on YouTube. Freighter Chaos, 
The names go on. Tex Hunter, cool guy. I'm assuming. I mean, of course, I don't know. Maybe all of these people are, are people that are uh, people that that know me, and they're masquerading as all these characters, and or maybe every one of them. No, it's too horrible to even think about. Let's see, positive things. I'm still here. That's positive. I breathe every day. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that uh, I live in a half decent country for now. And I said half decent. I could go either way. You know, it's, it's Canada. We have a hard time making up our minds here. I'm foolish enough to believe that every human is very valuable. That we are such complex beings that nobody knows what we are truly capable of doing. Unfortunately, it's <laughs> a lot of stuff that we're doing choosing our our dark side I count many positives in my life but I want all people to have positives in their life I don't think it's too much to ask that people just being a citizen deserve health care deserve that at the very least uh, deserve not to be hungry or live in substandard housing. It's unnecessary in the West in wealthy countries. I think the only reason poverty still exists in, in these very wealthy countries, Canada, US, Europe, although some places have gone down more to alleviate the situation than others, but poverty is used as a threat to get you to comply, to get you to accept less than optimum conditions, to lower your expectations. If you don't do what society says, you're going to end up in poverty. It's unnecessary for people to be sleeping in the streets. It's unnecessary. But I guess million dollar missiles come first. Oh man. Another Another season in my life of watching war propaganda, raising my blood pressure. I mean, no, not again. The definition of insane, I guess, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Well, that sums up the Mideast, doesn't it? Where are the diplomats? Where's Jimmy Carter? I think he's so old now. Diplomacy is a lost start. Especially when you have Orange Cheeto and his merry band of corporate thieves. Keep blowing things up. Don't build them. Mar-a-Lago is going to be underwater eventually because of global warming. It'll be going. It's all a Chinese plot to sell us more of the stuff that we already buy. Sometimes I feel like I've woken up in an alternate universe and this isn't real. And Trump is, you know, it's like I had this dream. Trump was the president. <laughs> I had a crazy dream, and that was really scary. And, and, and you know, the whole planet got nuked, and it was like, oh, phew. 
I, I pinch myself, but no, I, I'm still here, so this isn't a dream. It's uh, rapidly turning into a global nightmare. So hang on, it's going to be the ride of your life, I guess. Well, that's all for now. And remember, Vegematic is a state of mind. I am not Vegematic. Vegematic, what you see, is not me. It is a caricature of my personality. I am not Vegematic. My name is Chris. Peace, everybody. We can all dream about it. We can all wish for it. We can all fight for it. See you next time. Except for you. Get the fuck out of here.